In this video, we've put together reviews of top 5 best Nikon cameras available right now. We've included options for every type of consumer. If you want more information on the best and most up-to-date pricing on the mentioned be sure to check the links in the description below. Ok, so let's get started with the video. Starting of our list at number 5 is the Nikon D780 camera. A full-frame camera geared toward professional photographers is the Nikon D780. You can use it for a variety of genres because it is a flexible device. It's an enhanced model of the Nikon D750. It has a sizable sensor and an ISO that can be increased to 204,800. Excellent picture quality is the result of the resolution and dynamic range. Even in low light, its 51.0 AF technology assures seamless autofocus. Additionally, it provides up to 7 FPS of quick, continuous shooting, 12 FPS in live view mode. HD video in 60p, frames per second, may also be recorded with the D780. It's not the ideal option for videographers, though. At number 4 is the Nikon D6 camera. For a DSLR, the Nikon D6 has a frame rate that is fairly quick. This makes it the ideal tough, dependable, professional camera, together with its substantial, weather-sealed body. However, it has outstanding dependability. It is the upgraded Nikon D5 model. It also has several upgrades despite being heavier. All cross-type multicam 37K with 105-point autofocus, scene recognition, and exposure metering. Top 3 at our list is the Nikon D850 camera. The top-of-the-line Nikon DSLR on the market is the D850. It is extremely versatile and made for professional photographers. It will be helpful if you're a wildlife photographer like me or an event or sports photographer. It has a sensor that is backlit. For low-light situations, the broad ISO range that may be expanded to ISO 32 to 102400 equivalent is suitable. The D850 has a powerful focus in a variety of scenarios thanks to its 153.0 AF system with 99 cross sensors. However, it can only capture at 7 frames per second as opposed to mirrorless cameras 30 or more. The photo quality is amazing because of the variety of features. Given that it offers 4K UHD, it is also ideal for creating videos. During a prolonged shot, you won't run out of storage thanks to the two memory card slots. Additionally, the read-write speed is dramatically increased while using XQD cards. It's perfect for keeping the frame rate constant and reducing the amount of time it takes to copy the files to your PC. Moving up at number 2 is the Nikon D5600 camera. One excellent entry-level DSLR camera is the Nikon D5600. With a 24.2 MP crop sensor and a wide ISO range, there is no need to be concerned about the quality of the pictures in low light. There are 39 autofocus points on this device. Although it doesn't perform as well as higher-end DSLRs, it is still a dependable option for both static and moving objects. Even though 5 frames per second FPS, doesn't seem like much, the continuous shooting feature is useful for aspiring pros. The 60p HD movie demonstrates that this camera is a solid option for experimenting with filming. 3.2-inch Vari angle touchscreen with 1.037mm dots. Maximum 1920 by 1080 video clip length, 29 minutes, 59 seconds. And at number 1 is the Nikon D500 camera. The fastest and best crop sensor DSLR camera available is the Nikon D500. You can use it for any specialty, but I particularly suggest it for photography of action, sports, and wildlife. Professional photographers love it for its DX format, AF system, and fast frame rate. Outstanding agility is provided by the APS-C sensor, especially when telephoto lenses are used. With a telephoto lens attached, a DX, Nikon's crop sensor, system's focal length can be extended further than with a full-frame camera. The ISO range can be increased to an amazing ISO 1640000 You can maintain the details in your photographs even in low light. It is perfect for action photography because of its 153.0 AF system, which can maintain moving subjects in focus. To capture those fleeting moments, it has a continuous shooting speed of about 10 frames per second. So that sums of the today's video. We hope you enjoyed and if you did please leave a like on the video. And if you new here hit that subscribe button. Until next video have a great day.